Welcome to Be Here. I'm your host, Chris Marks, and welcome to the beautiful town of Helen, Georgia. On this episode, we'll check out a lot of fun things to do throughout the lovely town of Helen, Georgia. We'll check out a variety of restaurants, fantastic hiking trails, wonderful waterfalls, a variety of fun outdoor activities, and views that will take your breath away. The Alpine town of Helen takes its inspiration from the villages of Germany, a little slice of Germany in the North Georgia mountains. In the early 1970s, the town gave itself a German makeover to become more vibrant and attractive. And in doing so, it became the third most visited town in the entire state. Along with the Chattahoochee River running straight through it, there's no shortage of stores and restaurants to explore. Just don't forget to bring your camera to capture all the beauty that this town has to offer. And here's our first stop. Let's go see what the Troll Tavern has to eat. The Troll Tavern is a riverfront pub serving American and German food and beers. And my favorite part is getting to eat right next to the beautiful Chattahoochee River. I haven't been to too many restaurants that have a beautiful, beautiful creek right next to where you're dining. So this can be a wonderful experience. My friend Brian has something to say about his drink. I like my drinks very manly. About to crush this. So we just got our food, let's see what we got. I got what's called the roast beast, which is roast beef in this little croissant thing. And I got some fries and a pickle and a bit of broth. Brian, what do you got over here, my friend? It's a uh, salad with salmon and some strawberries. And, and that looks yummy. And baby, you got the vegetarian thing over here. What do you got? I got a Beyond Meat burger. Beyond Meat burger. Yeah, and it comes with all this deliciousness. We're gonna enjoy ourselves over at Troll Tab and we're gonna be here. There's absolutely no doubt that Helen is a beautiful place. There's lots of amazing things here. But I gotta admit, there's a couple of weirdos in this town. There's one guy yelling at me across the river because apparently he's seen the show. Like I said, loco cuckoo. Speaking of cuckoo. Guten Tag. We are so German. Yeah. Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Let's check out a unique coffee shop that has some interesting names for their drinks. So Isabel just got something yummy. What'd you get, baby? Well, this is called a turtle, which is actually a shot of espresso, dark chocolate, and caramel. And it's called a turtle? Mm -hmm. Don't worry, it's not made out of real turtle. No turtles were hurt in the making of this coffee. We'll see the rest of Helen later, but now let's go on a hike. So we're just a few miles away from the town of Helen, and we're about to hike up one of the more popular hikes in all of Georgia. We're about to go up the infamous mountain of Yona Mountain. Let's hit the trail. So we're just in the beginning portions of this trail, and already it's very pretty in here. Quite lovely area. Lovely is an understatement. This is a little bit off the trail, but these are some really cool boulders and rock formations to check out. There's so many rocks and boulders here, it could give Stone Mountain a run for its money. And here we go again. Well, 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 if it isn't our old friend, Stairs! Get it, baby, get it, baby. She's like Rocky Balboa. Hey, yo, Adrian, I did it! Just be sure to pace yourself on this trail. It's a real workout. So we made it to roughly the halfway point, and we've reached our very first view. That's really beautiful and we're only about halfway up. It looks like it's gonna be a lot more steep from here. I've been told by many people that Yona Mountain is a real challenge. And I agree. If you're a beginner hiker, might wanna build up your endurance before you take on this mountain. But still, this is beautiful. And once we get to the top, I'm sure it'll be worth it. Trust me, it certainly is. Well, we just reached a flat part near the top and if you're wondering, they do have bathrooms up here. Well, we made it. We're at the tippy top of Yona Mountain. It's just kind of a big open area. Clearly a lot of people have had some campfires and stuff up here. It probably could be a good place to pitch a tent, stay for the night and enjoy yourselves. But all the views are on the side next to all the rocks and everything. Let's go. And here's our first beautiful view. Well, we just reached our first viewing point, And as you can see, this is absolutely breath 
taking, but this is just the first one. We got plenty more to check out. Quite the view from 3,166 feet. Now I've seen in other videos that that ledge is where people actually will get out and sit on there and have their feet dangling off. But um, I'm not that kind of person. This is as close to the edge as I'll get, and that's with my GoPro extension. And when you're going across the mountain, here's some of the walkways. Gets you from great viewpoint to great viewpoint. You got all this gorgeous scenery to the side here. And here's the safe ways to go around that so that you don't have to go too close to the edge to enjoy yourself. Now that tiny little strip down there, that's actually the parking lot where we started. We definitely have come a long way since then. Yona Mountain is absolutely beautiful, breathtaking view. It's a one hell of a hike, so be ready for that. Bring some drinks and some Gatorade and some snacks. Most importantly, just come up here and enjoy all of this. It's beautiful, it's relaxing, it's rejuvenating. And when you come up to the top of Yona Mountain, always remember to be here. From one beautiful view to another, let's check out a waterfall. Anna Ruby Falls to be more specific. The hike to Anna Ruby Falls is only half a mile and it is paved. So when you arrive at this 150 foot waterfall, just let it take your breath away. Now we did check out Anna Ruby Falls on a previous episode that was highlighting Unique Toy State Park. But if you come to Helen, you definitely want to check this out because this is one gorgeous waterfall. Speaking of Unicoi State Park, let's do some fun outdoor activities. So we're back over at Unicoi State Park and we're gonna do, just like we did last time, one of our favorite activities, axe throwing. My buddy Brian claims this was his first time. I call BS on that. Master McClure over here showing us how it's done, baby. Unicoi State Park has so many fun activities to try, but axe throwing is a favorite. Oh, now Brian's just showing off. My wife Isabel got some good shots in there. Victory! I didn't do as well as I did the last time, but at least I finished strong. Yeah! And now I'll try our hand at archery, baby. Bullseye! Be very, very quiet. I'm hunting Waskawi Wyotes. Ha 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 ha! I got him. <laughs> I got him right in the jaw. Ouch. He's talking trash. I taught him a lesson. For now, let's just call Brian Hawkeye. Now we're back in Helen for another adventure. Roller coaster, baby. Oh yeah, they got a roller coaster. Here you can choose your own personal cart that you can actually control. This little thing, you push it forward to go faster and you pull it backward to go slower. So you do have some control over the speed that you're doing. And now we start the climb up the hill. And Brian's going. <laughs> and now it's my turn to go on this exhilarating ride. And what an awesome trip this was. This is gnarly! As crazy as this coaster is, just remember that you have full control over your speed, so there is no reason to panic. I'm gonna die! I'm gonna die! Don't worry, this ride is coming to an end. Slowing down! Whee! Oh, thought I almost lost it there for a second. After all those activities, we needed something cheesy to eat. So our good friend Brian McClure here, he got a tasty treat. What do you got, good sir? This would be the mocha. I'm pretty sure there's no cheese in the mocha. We'll let you know in, uh, a little bit later after he tastes it. Yummy! So this place definitely lives up to its name because we got all kinds of delicious cheesiness over here. So if you're lactose intolerant, do not come here. This is not a good place for you, but for us, this is delicious. Delicious indeed. Let's see what this place has to offer. After a long day of walking around, this is a great place to sit back and relax. This seems like a nice place to get a beer. Let's get something to drink. Well, my buddy Brian just got himself a tasty beverage. How's that German beer, my friend? This is good. Is this good? All right. Let's check out some other cool things in Helen. Now, everybody's heard about having abs of steel. My friend here, the Sasquatch, he's got abs of solid oak. Now that's hard. If you're into swords, then this is the place for you. 
They got a wide variety of medieval weapons and other cool things from that interesting era. And if you got a sweet tooth, Hansel and Greta will have just about every treat you could possibly ask for. Absolutely delicious. And Fox Winery is one of many wineries in town where you can get a free tasting. Here's a good one. First the sip, then the taste, and the breath. This is Ponderosa Gold. It is a blend of both red and white grape muscadines and scuppernongs. It is like white grape juice with a oomph. You hear that? It's got an oomph. You gotta have wine that has an oomph. <laughs> if it doesn't have the oomph, forget it. Here's another great place if you got a sweet tooth. We've been told by a lot of the locals that this Hoffer's Bakery is one of the best places in town, so we definitely want to check it out. Let's see what they got. Yummy. What'd you get over here, Brian? Uh, apple strudel in a strawberry cream cheese. That looks yummy. So what do we get, baby? We got a hazelnut. I think we get a tort. Tort. Well, Brian's got his yummy stuff. We got our yummy stuff. We're gonna enjoy this meal and we're gonna be here. Let's check out one last place with an amazing view. So we're about 30 minutes away from Helen, Georgia. We came to this area called Bell Mountain. When you're driving up, it's a very, very steep drive. You definitely want to keep your vehicle in low. The parking lot is right next to the top of the mountain, so there's no hike really, but this is so worth it because the view is spectacular. Spectacular to say the least. And that's not even the top. That's the top. And once you're up there, you get a 360 degree view of all the mountains, valleys, trees, and lakes. And at 3,424 feet, Bell Mountain will surely give you one of the best views in the entire state of Georgia. I cannot deny just how special this place truly is. As amazing as Bell Mountain is, unfortunately, people being people, there's a lot of spray paint around here, a lot of graffiti, and a lot of vandalism. So it's an unfortunate scar on this beautiful mountain, but hey, scars heal. Hopefully someone will clean this up someday, but the nature part of this is spectacular and I would highly recommend it. And when you come here, don't pay attention to the spray paint. Just pay attention to the beauty that is nature and always remember to be here. <laughs>